Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a review of the Phil Grounds High Rise. It's their new model of the shoe, um, which looks awesome. Um, it's a great shoe. It's definitely the most comfortable shoe that I now own, um, which is awesome. Um, along with being a barefoot shoe, it has the high rise, but it's not too stiff, as you can see, so it still gives you plenty of movement. And it feels real nice up here because it kind of gives your ankle a nice little stable feel, a little comfort, just because it's nice and tight. Um, just going over the regular stuff that a barefoot shoe should have, which this shoe does. You have the nice uh, straight toe angle here, so it's not curved in, so it's not going to give you that bunion. It's got a little bit of a wider of a forefoot. It's not pointed. Um, just all things that are good, good for your toes. As you can see, it has a nice zero drop, um, which just means that the heel height and the toe height is going to be exactly the same, which is what you want um, because it'll help uh, maintain your adequate range of motion, your alignment, and everything like that. And the other thing is that the, um, the bottom, the sole, is only five millimeters thick, so it gives you plenty of uh, feeling to the ground, just like you're walking barefoot. It does give you some protection, which is definitely needed. It also has a little grip on there, if you can kind of see that, which is nice. And then also it allows your foot to move like it should. Just like that, balls up, turns in every direction. So it allows your foot to do what your foot wants to do rather than your foot doing what the shoe allows it to do. Um, Field Grounds has definitely been one of my new favorite companies. Um, they're definitely about building great shoes as well as building sustainable um, shoes. The outer and the laces are, are all uh, water resistant, so it's not uh, it's resistant, so it's not like you can just go dump your foot in water and it's going to be dry, but it is, the material is water resistant. They're really light and they also come in about six different colors, I believe. And then um, the upper and laces are made out of recycled material as well, um, which is awesome. They run generally for about $128, um, which is a good price for this caliber of shoe. Um, you can definitely go check them out on their website. Um, I'll show you a little bit of what it looks like actually on your feet in just a second. Um, but go check them out. Um, great company. Uh, they also have a regular um, just tennis shoe, so not the high rise, which is awesome. Um, but this is definitely one of my favorite uh, go to just shoes for going out, going anywhere. They're comfortable, they look nice. And then I also like the back where it says Field Grounds right there. Um, that's excellent as well. So, like I was mentioning, guys, they look pretty nice. Um, they have that nice high rise, um, very movable. You can even move your toes all you want in them, that doesn't affect it at all. Um, going up and down. They just allow your foot to move like they should. Um, but overall, great look. Nice and wide. You can fully kind of splay your toes and it doesn't feel um, constricted or anything like that, which is what you want. That's going to be it for the Field Grounds review, guys. Uh, I'll put the link in the bio below um, so you guys can check it out. Uh, but definitely go check out their shoes. They got two different variations right now. The regular and the high rise are going to be coming out with more um, one of the best companies that I've um, seen out there for barefoot shoes.